Ann Arbor PTO thrift shop. I've heard good things. Here's hoping. Okay, so leaving Ann Arbor PTO thrift shop. Eh. Like, they had some kind of cool, like, furniture and stuff. There's a bunch of stuff in there. Not very many clothes or shoes, like, stuff that I'm looking for. And also, another thing I'm kind of looking for is, like, maybe cool art pieces. Like, and they didn't really have that either. So, um, yeah, it wasn't real exciting. I tried on one thing. So, did I get it? I guess you're gonna have to wait until the haul section of this video to find out but yeah it was a, it, I guess if you're looking for furniture stuff it might be a good place to go um, they literally had like a vintage rack so that's not what I'm looking for because I want to go somewhere which Salvation Armies are usually really good for that so I'm really looking forward to tomorrow um, where you know stuff is all just mixed in because when they separate out vintage, vintage stuff then they tend to charge more for it and so yeah, I, that wasn't my favorite. And there's just a very small amount of clothes in here. And the men's section was super tiny, which we already know. A lot of times men's sections in thrift stores are not very big anyway, but this was like extra small. So not, not my favorite. Wouldn't be a place I'd be like, definitely you have to go. No, not really. But all right, I guess probably we'll wait until tomorrow to do more shopping and the good thing originally it was calling for rain and now it's not so hopefully tomorrow will be a nice day and we can go in and out of places and not get wet. Salvation Army, Ann Arbor, let's do it. So basically the only way to tackle a place like this is the scan method. So I'm just scanning for prints or things that look interesting to me because otherwise you literally could be here all day. And there's a lot of other places I want to go to because like, look at this whole store. I mean, I want to look at everything. <laughs> so definitely scan, look for prints or textures or something that are interesting and um, go from there. Okay, so Salvation Army on South State Street, um, huge. Not really what I'm looking for though. I, I'm having a hard time because this is the second place now and there's like not really any vintage type stuff. So I was being very picky. I am being very picky as we're shopping anyway because I don't just wanna buy stuff just to buy it. And so I only chose a couple things that I knew I would actually really get use out of. And so again, you'll see that at the end um, when I do the haul and stuff, but yeah, I don't know. It's just not, I guess depending on what you're looking for, if you're just looking for clothes that are 
not vintage, I guess, then they do have a lot to choose from, but um, it's just not really what I was looking for. So I think overall it is a good thrift store. It's just not the thrift store I'm looking for. So on to the next. Next stop, the Ann Arbor Thrift Shop. Will this be better? I guess we'll find out. Your destination. I'm gonna try a couple things on. I'm not recording in here because it's very small and there's a ton of people. So that's why I haven't shown in the store anywhere. But um, I'm gonna try on a couple things and we'll see. Okay, Ann Arbor Thrift Shop. Store. Thrift Shop, the Ann Arbor Thrift Shop. Uh, it's little and cute and the ladies that are working in there are really nice. And they do have some cute stuff. I just kind of struck out. Um, so I did get a couple things, strange things maybe, but yeah, I am really striking out. Like I was thinking this was going to be like the most amazing thrift experience ever. And it's not <laughs> really going that way, but there's more stores. So I'm still holding out hope. Okay. Decided to go to a different city town. I love the feel of this better. It's Saline, Michigan. And this is new to you again, resale shop. So I'm going to see what they've got in here. Okay, new to you again, resale shop, super cute. They've got a ton of stuff in there. It's an awesome store. It just didn't have what I was looking for, which seems to be the theme that's happening, but that's okay. I'm glad that I went here. It was pretty cool and all the people in there are super nice. So on to the next. Okay, we're still in Celine and we're going to Goodwill. Please, something, have <laughs> something. And a strike out yet again. Brian got a pair of shorts, that's it this amazing thrift store shopping experience has kind of been a total dud. <laughs> Who knew that the towns near me would have way better thrifting? I, I had no idea, but they very clearly do. This is the share house. Interesting. Will we find something good? We'll find out.
Okay. One of the most interesting places I've ever been in, so I will say that. They have pretty much anything you could possibly think of, which you'll see in the video clips that I showed there. Um, <laughs> we left without anything, though. So the clothes were way overpriced. Ridiculously overpriced. So, um, and I'm, on that rack that said vintage clothes, there were things from, like, Target on there. I'm like, this is not vintage. So, um, yeah, I, it, like I said, interesting place. And if you're looking for, like old dish sets and cool stuff like that awesome but or underwear for eight dollars oh yeah. yeah okay that one wasn't so good <laughs> but um yeah so struck out once again i think i'm gonna have to hit some places up on the way home tomorrow mm. Mm -hmm. okay we're trying a new city on for size this is south lion so we're heading to the south lion salvation army Please, can I please find something amazing here? I'm feeling kind of good about it. There's some brick a brick if you're interested. <laughs> Maybe I want something. I didn't know. Maybe it's like one of those things that you need in your life and you just don't know it. I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps. Oh, some sweet stereo systems. Mm. Get some of that. Oh, we got some holiday. I'm having a hard time be choosing between these two. Which ones would you guys want? Which one? Which one would you pick? Things are seeming promising. This first skirt already is something I'm interested in. It's got horses and stuff on it. I don't know why I'm interested in it, but I am. I have a feeling it could be good. And they have fitting rooms that are open. It's nice in here. I'm a fan. Nothing. Again. I did get um, <laughs> two sweatshirts that my husband found for my sons, but that's it. So, on to the next place. It's becoming a joke at this point, right? This is a joke. It's funny. Sure. Okay, I forgot to say, at the last store, the um, South Lion one, it was a, like a nice clean store. It was organized really nice. So um, I should mention that because I wanted to say things about the different stores. Um, it just didn't have what I was looking for. But I will say some of the ladies that were working in there were like really negative and complaining a lot and stuff. So kind of a reminder, no matter where you work, like to not complain and stuff because it just creates a yucky environment. And like, I couldn't wait to get out of there because I didn't want to listen to their negativity anymore. <laughs> so just, I mean, that's not even about where you work. Just when you're out in public, whatever. Like other people don't want to hear your negativity. Like, I don't know, save that when you're talking to your friends or something on the phone or, or I know, something. I hate that. I know. I just hate that when people are negative. See? I hate, I hate negativity. Yeah. Hate it. No. <laughs> no, we're really. Okay. <laughs> That's all. Now, headed to the next place. Okay. We are at White Lake Salvation Army. It looks promising. So, I'm bringing my shopping bag in with me because I plan to buy stuff. Here we go. Okay, this one, awesome. I found so much good stuff. Everything's super organized in there. It's huge. And they have such a good mixture of like some vintage stuff and new stuff. It's like everything I've been looking for in a thrift store was here. So I'm super excited because I got some fun stuff. This is definitely my biggest, uh, you know, haul of stuff out of one of them. And so I'm really excited to show it to you guys. So definitely recommend this one. Thanks to construction and people who go 10 to 15 miles an hour under the speed limit, I have less than an hour to spend in this Salvation Army, and this is in Davison. So here we go. No luck, and it's raining, but all in all, that White Lake store made it all worth it because I got so much good stuff there. So Davison was bad. Not that the store was bad, it's just I didn't find anything I was looking for, and I was rushed, so that's not a good combination in a thrift store. 
So, um, not finding what I'm looking for and being rushed, is that a good combination? That's not what I meant. <laughs> being rushed in a thrift store when you can't take the time to look through things is just not good. Yeah, that was no combination of anything. Anyway, but so... Uh, yeah, it's hard to find what you're looking for if you're rushed. It is hard to find what you're looking for if you're rushed. But kind of the nature of being in a thrift store means you need to take time. So it's just yeah. the fact that I didn't have time. Okay. But so that is the end of my uh, thrifting extravaganza for this, I was going to say weekend, but it's actually uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And so on to the haul. Okay, it's haul time, so let's get into it. So that first store that we went into was the Ann Arbor PTO thrift shop. And I ended up just picking up one thing in there. You saw me go in the dressing room um, and try it on. Well, I didn't show you when I tried it on, I don't think. But I showed you that I was going in the dressing room. But anyway, um, I grabbed these and they are this pair of black pants. So they're just real simple. They've got a pleat kind of all the way down the front and all the way down the back. And they zip up the back here. And just a very simple pant, but they fit really, really well. And I'm like, oh, these are perfect. Like the length on them was perfect for me. And so I was like, you know what? I don't have any kind of pants like this to be a little bit more dressy or you can dress them down. And so let me see. So their tags, I can't remember what like the original price was, but I didn't realize until I can tell you it was only a couple dollars. But when I got up there, this was one of the tag. This was the color of tag that was on sale for 50 cents. So I paid 53 cents for this pair of pants. So that was great. That I mean, it was a bummer that I only found one thing, but for it to be one of the items that was one of the 50% or 50 cent items, I was super thrilled because I wasn't even paying attention to that. So 53 cents for my first item from the first thrift store we went into. Now that next day when we went into the Salvation Army in Ann Arbor, I ended up coming out with just two things for me. Um, we actually pretty cool. We found my husband found um, a Cuisinart coffee pot that had it's like the thermal carafe. It's programmable, all that good stuff. It's a twelve cup. We're big coffee drinkers, so we have been taking like our coffee pot from our house into our trailer when we go to camping and stuff in the summers. But I would really rather not do that. So he found this coffee pot and it was like brand new, like it didn't look like it had ever been used before. And so we ended up getting that for eleven ninety nine, and we've used it a few times, so we know it works well and nothing's weird with it. So that was a really good find on his part because he totally is the one who found that. But then um, I found. Um, a couple things here. He found, I think, a pair of shorts, maybe. And then I found these two things for myself. And the first one is this little shirt. So it's kind of like a, an orangey red and like a cobalt blue. And then there's some little gold in there, too, and white. If you can see the pattern there. It's like a really cute little pattern. And I love the straps are adjustable. They have two different places you can put them in and you can also cross them in the back if you wanted to to make it like fit you well. I love this type of a neckline. Usually is something that I really like the look of on me. I like that the sides have the like ruching like this or like that stretchy, can't think what it's called right now, but you know what I mean. And then it's got um, the zipper down the back, which is like a nice zipper. Like you can tell it's just a nicer, you know, brand. And so this is the brand Cabby. And I just think it's a really cute little, a little bit more like, you know, a little dressy, like fun date night, whatever, even just with cute little jeans and stuff. But um, yeah, I really liked it. Just something about it stuck out to me. So yellow tags happen to be 50% off. So the original price was $3.99 and I got it for $1.99. So I think $1.99 for that is pretty darn good. And then the other thing I got there was this, this is funky and like not something I typically would grab for, but it was calling to me. So I said, girl, you're getting it. So it is just like a sleeveless kind of top with a collar. I usually never go for things like that. Like, and so I was like, hmm, I'm going to try it. And it's extremely lightweight. So the front has like this detail of like, it looks like there's like a hemline here, but then it also extends down past it. And it's got, the buttons are actually covered in the same fabric as the shirt, if you can see that. And it's just got these little like faces on it and flowers. 
and I don't know there was just something about the print that just stood out to me and the colors and honestly if you feel it like the material of it is so nice and lightweight so super cute and this is from Maeve and so it looks like this it is a slight bit big on me when I tried it on but I'm like eh, I can make it work and so um this was originally $4.99 so it was $2.49 so um another great deal now this is from the Ann Arbor thrift shop I think it was called I'll put it on the screen if I'm saying that wrong um but my husband actually got a pair of jeans from there that were really nice and then um it might be all he, yeah, he got that pair of jeans. And then I just found a couple of things I was looking for. Um, I got this dress recently at a thrift store that is really cute and has like a real vintage look to it. And it needed a belt. It didn't come with a belt. Like you can tell there was belt loops or it used to have one. And I wanted a red, like thin belt and I didn't have anything like that. So I actually ended up finding these two belts there and I wasn't sure which one I would like better for it. So I decided, you know what, for the price, I'm gonna pick them both up. So this one is like a shiny, like a patent kind of looking red. It's got the little um, kind of more square buckle there, small. On the inside, it's this silver, which I didn't even look to see if it said a brand, but I am not seeing one. But so I got that one and I'm like super cute. But spoiler alert, I actually already wore the dress and wore it and I ended up wearing this belt with it. So this one is more of like a flat leather a little more of like an orangey red where this one's more of like a blue toned red and then um this one has the rounded gold buckle down there and just slightly thicker than this one also not much difference but but I know I will probably be able to use both of them with different stuff so I did not mind picking them up because they were two dollars each now when you're looking at shirts that were like two dollars each it does make the belt seem kind of expensive but let's be real <laughs> so I was happy to find those and then the other thing that I found there is not a clothing item at all I saw this and something about it just just I don't know I saw it on the shelf and I was like drawn to it and so I was like you know what I'm gonna get that so it is just this plate and it's like a teacup with oranges in it and flowers there's something about the color of it and stuff that just I don't know so Colleccion Beatrice Naranjas so let's see um it looks like this I don't know I'll have to show you but this was 50 cents you guys 50 cents so this is what the back the label says if anyone is familiar with anything about that I should look it up I'll put up on the screen if I find anything interesting about it. But there was just something about it that drew me to it. And I was like, I am getting that because I have, you know, like just a little plate stand that I can put it on in my kitchen. And I just think it's going to be really cute. And I have like orange um, kind of walls, darker orange than this. But um, I think it will just be really complimentary and fun. I'm also wanting to start getting some more interesting things for my home, like art pieces and stuff and kind of trade out some of the Hobby Lobby kind of stuff that everyone has and have more like things that are just interesting and old and different, you know, so that plate just kind of went right in with it. And then this here, this was from On The Way Home, that amazing Salvation Army in White Lake. I loved it. Now this bag I actually made several years ago, so that's not from there, but um, that's what I was putting all my goods in. So I've got my receipt here. We're going to get into this. First up, Salvation Army, again, same thing, yellow tags at all of the stores. I like that they do that, like, uniformly. Um, we're 50% off. So, this is Red Hanger is the name of the brand. And it is just a simple little dress. Short. It's got some pockets. And this is just the most lightweight, simple, cute like, I am, know I'm going to wear this all summer because it's exactly the type of thing I like to wear in the summer. So, $3.99. So, it was like $1.50 for this. No, it wasn't. It was $2. <laughs> Original price was $3.99. And so, it was $2. You guys, I'm laughing at myself because the math that I just did on that was so ridiculous. I don't want to embarrass myself. Too late. I just told you. But whatever. But so, yeah. Excited to have that. This is like um, rediscovering all this stuff because that was June when I, um, we went like June 12th 
and 13th or something like that, 11th, 12th, 13th. And this is um, 4th of July. I can't believe I just looked at my watch to tell you that. 4th of July when I'm recording it, which is why I am in the scarf. But anyway, so um, I kind of forgot some of the stuff. So this is a little Old Navy dress, actually. I do some of their dresses. I really like the fit on me. So when I saw this one, and it's just like black and white and gray, like these little flowers. And it's just a simple little dress. Now I've had some of their dresses hit way too long on me, but this like this particular style is like perfect. So the perfect length. And again, super lightweight. It's got kind of like a long keyhole back there with a little button. And $5.99, so like $3 for this dress because it's a yellow tag. Can't beat it. Now this is just stupid cute. I, that's all I can say about it. And this is the brand moda international and it's 100 percent cotton because it's a real deal jeans so it is a dress and it buttons all the way down and it's short i like the thickness of the straps i like the shape of the top up here then the back is just you know fairly plain the only thing is the straps are a little long, so I am going to have to do a little altering of the straps to be able to make them so they don't fall off my shoulders. But other than that, oh my gosh, it is so cute. And I mean, this is going to be great even like in the fall with longer, um, like long sleeve shirts under it. You can wear tights and boots and so many possibilities. And then just like this in the summer or with, you can put a little tee under it, whatever you want to do. But I am really excited about it now this one was not a yellow tag this is one of the more expensive things that i purchased and it was 6.99 so seven dollars is one of the more expensive things i purchased like who cares and i love this this i am have all these pictures in my mind for what i'm going to do with this in the fall so this is the brand artisan new york and this also was 6.99 so this is one of the more expensive this is just it's um like 68 percent of I don't know how you say it. Is it modal? Um, so that really soft, like, oh my gosh. It's like a light kind of tan color. And it's just a simple, long dress. The bottom does have a little slit on each side. But the back is plain. It's just like a long tank, like, sheath kind of a dress. This with, like, a really cute jacket and boots and like I don't know I can picture layering this like you can put a belt around it like there's gonna be so many things I can do with this and it is like the feel of this on your body is so incredible like I could not pass it up so I didn't <laughs> next up is a super cute this is Kathy Lee for Plaza South um, dress and this one was also not one of the half off tags but it was only $3.99 so four dollars for this dress and so let me show you it is this really cute oh I didn't do up all the buttons but you get the idea it buttons all the way down all the way down until you get to right down here and it has like that little slit at the bottom which is actually really cute because then if you're wearing boots and stuff you like see them as you're walking and it is this light like yellowish color with the like purpley pink um flowers on it and it's got the little fluttery sleeves i'm deciding if i'm going to cut out the shoulder pads or not i'm gonna have to see but i love like the collar area has the little um flounciness here and i same thing i'm like picturing so many ways to wear this um, I've got a really cute pair of cowboy boots that are gray that I think would be super cute with this. Also, like my Doc Martens. Um, like, I just think this is going to be so cute. Same thing. You can put, like, something, like, long sleeve that fits tight underneath if you want more warmth or, like, a jacket over top. I am just so excited to wear this. So, yay. Next up, I love wearing maxi skirts. And I usually have them like for summer, but I was like, you know what? It'd be awesome to have something I can wear like in the fall and winter with boots, tights, all that kind of stuff. And this one I can wear any time of the year, I feel like, because of the colors and it's also very heavy. So this, um, but lightweight, 
it's breathable so it'll be fine for summer but also heavy enough that I feel like with tights underneath in the winter or fall will be great so this is Red Rock Reflections Sedona Arizona and um this one also was not on like was not a yellow tag so it's not half off but it was $2.99 so three dollars I will pay three dollars for a skirt in a day so this is what it looks like I love the colors so it's nice and long it's just got these gorgeous tones in it that, like I said, I mean, for fall especially, I think this is going to be so awesome. And I cannot wait to style it with different types of shirts, sweaters, sweatshirts. Like, oh my gosh, it's going to be so cute. But I love the colors in it that I can pull from several different kind of colors. And um, it's just, it's really nice. It's a very nice, like, weight of a skirt. You can tell it's, like, a good, you know, a good quality made skirt so can't wait to wear that now there's only two things left but I'm excited about them this one is like vintage dreams for me it is this red shirt here the the brand is my latest Leslie Fay, and it zips up the back here it is like a waffly knit like the red with like speckles of white. I love the detail around like the neckline. The shape of it, the stitching, it's just short sleeve. So I'll show you up close the material there. This has the good old union tag in there. So you know it's the real deal. And I absolutely love this. Like I, I can't even tell you. I was so excited when I found this. I couldn't even stand myself. <laughs> and so this next thing that I found, I feel like it's something I can definitely put with it and make such cute kind of outfits. So it is this scarf. Oh, did I tell you how much this was? This was $2.99. Also not on sale, but that's okay. So $3 for this. My favorite find of the whole, the whole trip. And so this scarf is $1.99. And it's just the blues and the red, and it's got some of like kind of that gold color and yellow there, and white, obviously. But these together, whether I wear this like as a belt with something that I'm wearing it with, or I wear it in my hair or around my neck, I think is just like such a fun combination that I am going to love to style together. So you will be seeing that styled together. So I'm gonna be showing you. So those were, that my whole, everything I got from there ended up being $33. And that is with tax. So um, I think I did really, really well. I was surprised at the lack of things I found in a lot of places, but I was being pretty picky too. And um, so that last, uh, that White Lake store, oh my gosh, like that made it all worth it because I got so many good pieces there. So I'm really excited. I'm going to stop babbling now because this is going to be a long video. And I'm going to show you guys the stuff styled that I got here. And I can't wait to hear what you think of it. What is your favorite piece? You guys are going to have to tell me what you really liked from this haul. And um, I'm excited to hear because I'm excited to wear it. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching.